Hi there, this is J3 and this is Zabbix, a Docker container. We are going to install Zabbix on a Docker using Ubuntu 20 and MS SSL2. Okay, let's get started. This is the Zabbix office in Russia for what Zabbix is good for. It's good for monitor, okay, server, machines, apps, service, database, websites. It's awesome app. What Zabbix offers an excellent reporting in data visualization features based on the stored data. Okay, and Zabbix is ideal for capacity planning. Zabbix is free of cost distributed under the GLP license V2. And what is the features of the Zabbix? Data gathering, support SNMP, IPMI, GMX, cloud computing, collection, and so on, so on. Okay, sorry, let me correct this visualization and, and you see. Now let's practice right now. And at the end of this episode, of this video, you should be get a Zabbix instance running on your PC. Okay, let's re-initialize. This step zero is to install Windows subsystem on Linux in, in your laptop. You can follow this page of Microsoft. Okay, and you make all these steps set here and you see a Zabbix running on your machine like this, okay? Zabbix is running right now. Let's now click here and go to the Ubuntu instance, okay? Let's see if the, if the Docker is running. Type Docker space V. And you see that we are using Docker 20, and there you have it. Okay, now let's return to our page and see what is the next step. Next step, okay, this step is to install Docker machine. I already do that. You can follow these steps right here. So do up to get update, update your system make a, a, the copy of the, the shell that will run the, and run this, this app, this line, and you can change your, your username right here to make a group with your name. Okay, now let's run this script on the Ubuntu 20 for installation of Zabbix. Okay, let's run this first Copy that and return to the page, to the, okay, let's run it and enable to locate, it will look, it will locate the, and will download it for the image for your platform. Okay, let's see everything running, let's wait and see this this is running docker for mysql server it is completing all the image that we will use okay let's wait for the completion of this procedure extracting Okay, and there you have it. Let's clear the console, sorry. Let's clear the console. And let's return to the page and see the container two. Okay, let's see the container two. Let's copy this, turn to the command, run it. And again, it 
and able to find the image and will locate in the internet the Zabbix Java Gateway. Okay, you have to follow this step in this order and everything must must okay that's right let's clear it up turn to the page and the third container is the Zabbix my SQL and in this container you have to wait two or three seconds let's run it and then let's hope for the best okay Okay, the image already exists. We have all an image already. Full completion, everything is fine. Okay, now what you have to do is to wait for two seconds, two minutes. Okay, I will wait, but I will stop this video, pause the video now, and you see the timing now is 20. 1649 let's pause the video now let's return to the page right here the number four let's copy this copy this and return to the and now we are going to install zabbix mg ni in x let's run it it's unable to find the image we'll already exist some image okay because i have installed it to test but i try to delete all the image including at the web page you can uh, you can look for the troubleshoot to reinstall everything okay i think this is the low newer image, okay, let's clear it up. Everything must be okay. Let's go to the container five, control C, turn to the, and now the Zabbix agent. Okay, in that order, MySQL, gateway, MySQL server, engine, ng, Inex in agent. Okay, there you have it. All right. Okay, let's return. Now, now let's check if everything is fine. Let's copy this command. And there you have it. We have a one, two, three, four, five image running up, running, and there you have it. Okay, now to see if everything is fine we have to know the ip address okay to know this you have to install this this command apt-get install net2 let's install it i already have it okay okay the next step is just type if config hit enter and you have the eth0 and this ip right here let's copy this ip 172 22 36 134 let's copy and go to your web browser paste it and there you have it now you have to make a, a, a user a g me with the capitalize a and zabbix in in low case and there you have it everything is working fine thank you very much you joined me here at j3 channel i really do appreciate every friend viewer subscribe special to you i hope you have a great day take care bye